Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, and don't want to talk too loud, they're all they're all sleeping right now. Oh, Edmund's up. Okay, I've set Edmund to a series of tasks first thing, since he gets up for everybody else. We actually have 10 alloy sitting in a furnace right now, I want him to take that directly to this guy and get it built. And then move that, move that, and move that. While wow, everyone's getting up, hmm. Before I started the episode, I got to really looking at the fencing and the eventual defensive structure and kind of condensed everything, just kind of squeezed it all in and rethought everything. And rather than trying to use these old pathways, I found if I pushed it up this far, it will build complete and won't break anywhere. At least I hope it's not going to break there. We'll tear this down and see if we can get a gate in there and drop a gate over here put a new strip of trees in here since we're taking all of our trees out put another strip over here move this guy in got room back over here if i move the second balloon for another building or something whatever you know kind of future proof this area and we'll just see how it goes Rita's harvesting already there's not much harvest to do rita you could use something to eat, though. So I guess you'll bring in that 10, 20, 30, and maybe you'll get out and plant. That would be good. Simon needs to bring all of these guys in. And in fact, I had him set to bring something else in. Oh, the I found that there is scrap metal out here, and it actually has a shelf life. And it's wearing out, so we got to get that in. Simon is still sleeping, though, but there's scrap metal sitting over there, and there's scrap metal sitting over here. This one, more recent, so it's not as worn out. I guess it's out there rusting. I guess that's one way to look at it. Anyway, dinging noises. What do we have here? I guess we're cutting down... Oh, when I got rid of the fence line, we added a whole bunch of wood that had been brought to the fence line, so I guess that's all being rethought and recalculated anyway um yeah so just a lot of moving things and and reconfiguring plans otherwise played music carter is deconstructing good let's let's tear oh we did tear this one down good so let's think about this um gate there's one Gate. There we are. Copy. So we can drop you in. I'll probably... I'm going to put a double here, I think. This one's going to be a major pathway for us. And it's not going to line up with this, so I think we'll just make it look good. And can I get this guy to end in stairs somehow? Just curious. Copy you. You are a staircase. Not much I can do there I can make you go this way meaning it goes into the hillside over here can I go sideways oh it'll okay well that'll work it'll at least it won't end in a jump off it'll actually end in stairs okay Rita actually what I would like for you to do is I want to extend this so that it lines up with these guys. This was kind of a weird shape. So Rita, can I get you to instead... Let's see, what time is it? Nine in the morning. Deconstruct that and then... Where's more deconstruct? Deconstruct all of these. Carter... Oh, Carter is here. He's even faster. Carter, you come over here and deconstruct these. And Rita is going to do these. Let's get this part cleared off and move that over. We don't need this much heptagonia, but this was all gravel. So that's the only thing that would grow there. Uh, okay, Carter, you're going to do this one also. And Rita, you're going to just kind of wait for a moment and not plant anymore because we're going to move them. Um, what else can you do? Come over here and plant Cloth Blossom instead. Are you... No, let's do it now. 
Tell me I didn't have Carter, did I? Good. <laughs> All right. So these grow in threes. Extend field three by threes. And there's a two of them deep right there. So these worked out well. But this one I did wrong. And it's one, two, and a little bit. So it needs to be there. So I need to extend that to there, and that should realign all of these. So now, Rita, you could plant these, and hopefully you're going to realign and give us, what, six more in there? Yeah, that'll give us 12. And does it work? You're, oh, you're, you're sowing the ground, or I mean, uh, uh, hoeing? I don't know what you call it. You're processing the dirt. I didn't see that at any other time. Interesting. So how are you going to do that? But you're still aligned with these. Huh. So I still didn't get... <laughs> oh well. Whatever. Next year we'll redo it. Okay. Constructing stairs. Good. It doesn't quite do what I hoped to do. But it, I guess, accomplishes the goal. Um... Let's see, Edmund is clearing a construction site. Does that mean you can't move this until that tree is moved? I wonder. Carter, can you move this? Move, site is being cleared. You can't move it. Okay. So I moved that over so I can move the blueberry bushes over. Yeah. Anyway, they're figuring it out. Carter, you go, oh, you're going to move that. You could move this and then move that. Since you're here. We'll see if it disturbs what was inside. Nope. Still there. What's in here? 20. That's got to be brought in too. Um, what's everybody else doing? Simon is transporting... Oh, you're transporting alloy to this structure. Okay. Which means we would probably want to get another round of scrap in here and get that going uh simon otherwise you're in decent shape now once you grab some food you prefer meat pie does that exist mm, does not otherwise you're needing both so simon you grab the buttermelon pie and then i want you to did you ever get this one done where am i here looks like it is. That is the right one, right? Yeah. So when you're done with that, come out and get these. And that will be done. And then I guess spend the rest of the day just kind of hauling all these in. There's probably five or six trips for you here. There's a lot of it on there. Okay, so that is Simon. Who else needs to be carefully guided into productive activities you are working on the uh, concrete fortifications and after that we drop into making the batteries work better is there anything else that seems more important than that speaking of laser pistol i just saw over there didn't we find one and drop it somewhere what are you hey there's more scrap metal uh okay we're done with that um, there, we have two laser pistols now. Okay, Edmund brought one back last time. So it would be wise to get everybody equipped. So Carter and Edmund are equipped. And we've got Rita. We've got Kana. You have a crossbow. Where are you right now? You're assembling. Let's have you grab a laser pistol. And Umayar, you just finished. Let's have you, well, next grab a laser pistol. You are grabbing something to eat right now. And what else did I see in there? Just the two laser pistols right now. And we have spears. Anybody spearless? Uh, Simon could use one. So Simon, I guess at some point I'll just stick it in your list to go and grab one of those spears. And Rita doesn't have a spear. Interesting. Rita, 
is down there. When you're done, you'll come up and grab a spear also. Is it where they're stored? That appears to be both of them right there. Okay. Paulette, I wonder if we worn these all out. There's a lot without spears. They must have all just worn out. Okay. Now let's get... Well, spears should have a until... Yeah. So as soon as those two are picked up, it'll pop up into the list again. And Simon or somebody will go and make two more. Okay. So Carter is constructing fence, meaning he is going over to pick up all the wood that got left behind. Edmund is constructing fence. And until they get it done, they're going to be constantly uh, ignoring my orders because they love to construct fences. So, and it really wouldn't hurt just to get it done, to tell you the truth. Concrete fortifications. Concrete and metal alloy make sturdier defenses than sharpened logs. I bet they do. Oh, the alloy we're going to need. <laughs> ah, rotted away. 22 meat. Double click doesn't tell me where, but it must have been out in a field somewhere. Okay. So we need ores to get more alloys. Or we need more scrap metal, which it is kind of rolling in right now, to get more alloys. Um, Carter, you are dropping off all this great stuff. And it would be nice to get this brought in too, just to so we've got an accounting of what we actually have available. Well, you got the gate and everything there. Boy, that had to be a heavy load. <laughs> Just walking along. Okay, so Carter... You are... Edmund is... Everyone's just got construct going on. Um, but these are the guys that can cut the trees the fastest. No, cut is not strength. Cut is not physical. Right? And we have, oh, okay, gate. We now have a metal gate and concrete walls. Okay. Um, what did I just ask? Oh, activities, cutting. It is physical. Okay, that's right, because we could use cutting to train up the physical. Which it would be nice to be able to send Rita out on a mission I know that she could haul more back. But for that matter, so is Edmund. He could bring more on his expeditions too. So construction is not a physical. Construction is construction. Repairing, deconstructing, reconstructing, and constructing. Whereas cutting is physical, cutting and chopping. Mining the same. Okay. So, Edmund, how about you work on... Your stats are pretty good. Can I have you work on cutting logs? We are short how many? 231 logs for this fence. But I could also get you to do some mining. We're at 3 in the afternoon, though. Such a long trip. It'll be dark by the time you get there. Was there anything? Yeah, that's just as far away. It really is. That's sort of a first thing in the morning kind of task. Um, unless I sent both of them to do it. Then they both get back and we get nothing built. Carter, what's your, what do your stats look like? You could use a meal. Let's get this group done. Edmund, why don't you come over here and mine these guys? And is that this one too? Which meaning I can't... No, there's still three more. Okay. And you are... Nothing. Okay. So I could have Carter grab a meal. Um, something special you liked. You liked bread. Carter, is there any bread? There. Here. There. Nope. No breads. So Carter, can you grab a... You could use a little relaxation too. A fruitcake. And then you can come out and do these other three. And we will have finally cleared out all the ore over on this part of the map. 
I think that is the majority of it. We've kind of run out of map somewhere. Yeah, we don't have access to that valley. So nothing over there will highlight. So is there any ore? It's usually at the bottom of the list. This area? Four ore deposits. Oh, we had a meteor come down. Okay. Um, They're over here, though. There's no ore in there. Two. Right over here. Edmund, you're going where? You're going over here. And those other ones are over here, I think. Right there. I might be able to have the first one that finishes to hit these two on the way home. That could be it. It looks like it's that and that. And you guys are already set to mine. Okay. Hmm. So anything else over in here for ore? Way over here, that's probably another meteor. Okay. Meteor strike there. Meteor strike there. Okay. So Carter's on his way over. What's everybody else doing? Paulette is cooking bread, right? Yeah. So Carter's going to want a piece of bread when he gets home. Kana is assembling electronics. Aggressive animals, 43. Always a danger of having them out in the field somewhere working on something. Especially when those aggressive animals show up right where they're walking. We need to go check that. But you are assembling... Is that electronics? No, that's a CPU core. How'd you drop into a CPU core? Because somehow that is next on the list. We could get those, well, kind of for free. It's Actually, how long of a trip was that? I think I noticed that when I was editing. It was Expeditions, the CPU cores. It was only three hours away. I was thinking that was a 10-hour trip, so I didn't go the last time. But they, we had the other 10-hour trip to do, so I went for the one that we hadn't done before. But, yeah, we could do this several times in a day and bring back all kinds of CPU cores. Okay. So, Kana, I need you to make this the last CPU core that you ever make. So, the in-stock is one, and you're making the second one. So, you're going to stop at this point. Okay. And this freezer has really tied up a lot of alloy. I had no idea at the time how much alloy that thing was going to take. What have we actually accomplished here? So does the one roof section and some random pieces of wall. Oh, so we're not even quite halfway done. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Um, all right, where's the bugs? Oh, we are in the area of Edmund and Carter. Okay. That's happened at 1800. It's going to nail us at midnight. And there's a lot of big bugs in there. Wow. No explosives. Just overgrowns, which are five times the strength and hit points of the regular ones. So another 65. That's the equivalent of 95. Yeah, I think. Of the regular Scarabai. All at one time. Mmm. Is it time to set up a few more traps? That's not a bad idea. And maybe go ahead and get these guys lit. Double click. There they are. Light you guys. Copy. And let's put a second layer in. Like so. Yeah, it's going to take out our torch, so i got to stop there. And 
down, it might not hurt to do something like that. And I guess just a couple more there. Kana, Kana, there you are. I think I need you handling this. Yeah, can you construct those five traps? You need a meal, you need a bad. Okay. All right, instead of finishing that, you are going to grab some kind of a veggie-like stew or a fruitcake. Okay, you're going to work on a fruitcake. Then you are going to come down and... We did this once long ago when we built the first traps. I cycled between Carter and somebody, Umayar, I think, trying to get them both to build and... One would cancel the other out over and over again because one got the order to bring all of the scrap metal at once. I'm going to try having Kana work on these. And Umayar, you're fine except for relaxation. I need you to work on the rest of these. And let's see who brings what scrap metal. Okay, so you guys are not going after our miners. Good. Though I don't know how long I dare have you guys out here. This might have just been a wasted evening for you. Yeah, it really might. And I can't direct your path home while you are carrying something. Once you go home, you're just going to take the shortest route and you're going to get attacked. As soon as I draft you to send you around the other way, you're going to drop everything. What is that noise? These rocks sure have a... Or is that evening? <laughs> anyway, you guys, I think I'm just going to have to draft you and send you home. I need you to come home this way. Yeah. Going to have to do it. I can get you to help finish building more of the traps. This is going to be a, a pretty impressive uh, amount of enemies hitting us. And you both have the uh, the rifles. So, got to make sure you're not on the wrong side of the, uh, of the defensive structure when they hit. That's for sure. Okay. What's everybody else doing? Zakana is traps. Umayar ignored me completely. Dude, dude, dude. Get over here and handle the torches. And Kana is collecting three. I didn't see how much she picked up. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully she brought it all, but I don't know what her ability is. Carter, are you guys there yet? You're pretty much. So I need you... Yeah, you're clear now. Can you undraft and... Hmm. If I have Carter... I have to wait. Build this. What happens? Kana is idling. Yeah. So she has got to bring all the materials down. So Carter instead draft. Come down here. And Edmund draft. Come down here. Kana build traps and got to make sure that you're picking up the same scrap metal and not running over to pick up another run of it. There's our concrete. Wondered where that landed. So, Umayar, you actually don't need to make the trip now. Oh, there you are. And you are running, so okay, I won't stop you. Simon is still transporting. How are you doing? You could use some relaxation, and I probably need to... Actually, if you're going to plant this, let's plant this in the good stuff. I just noticed Rita's doing this over here. Um, let's remove the field. What is this one? That is true root. Okay. Then you remove field, and let's put this field back in in the 
Giant grass. Uh, farming. This one. Giant's grass. If we're going to replant it, then... Oh, I see. It doesn't quite line up. Okay, that's fine. You go there and extend. Really hard to see, isn't it? That does work right. How come I didn't the last time? You reduce this group and you... Did I lose it all? There you are. Extend. Giant's Grass. Extend. That's odd how that worked that way. Yeah, now it works. Okay. So, but Rita, what do you need to do to be ready for tonight? Why don't you... Oh, you're sitting. Okay. Sit and then grab something to eat. Um, meat pie is what Simon wanted, right? Yeah. Simon, you're doing what right now? You are... Transporting. Then you're equipping. Let's have you... I see. Well, it's not going to take in the order that I want, but you can at least grab a meat pie. Rita, you come up here, and after you're done, eat a buttermelon pie. Okay. Get you guys ready for the attack tonight. You guys are still clear. These guys haven't really... Well, there's nobody to attack. No herds that are close by. Okay. We have till midnight, so still four hours left. And Carter Evan haven't got here yet. Kana is just arriving. Umayar is reading, so he must need some relaxation. We have our lights lit. Hmm. It'd be nice to put one more in, huh? Copy you and drop you in right here. And Kana, or yeah, Kana, when you're done. You can construct that. I'm guessing there's enough materials. Oh boy. It probably takes hay, doesn't it? Well, there's hay and sticks right over there too. I think she can do it. So drop all these off. And once she's... What was that noise? Ow. I see these guys got a little alarmed. Edmund, undraft, and come on over here and construct traps. And Carter, let her spread the rest of those out and undraft and maybe construct these traps. Okay. So you guys construct. She's laid all these out. She needs to construct this one. Okay. Between all of you guys, we should be ready by midnight. Hopefully, also getting some of them something to eat. And kind of ready to go. So Umayar is reading. Once he's done, he needs to eat as well. And he likes bread. And there is bread. So let's put that on his list immediately. Paulette is still cooking. Simon is grabbing his meat pie. Good. Paulette, you need to eat something soon too. So, let's grab you a buttermelon pie after you've done that. In fact, let's just do that now and get it done. Okay. So, I've taken care of all five of these, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Edmund is going to eat. He's kind of done. Carter is reading. Yeah, he kind of needs it. And... Kana, can you finish everything down here? I bet she can. I, have, I think you'll be quick enough to do it all. So, Kana, can you construct those and anything that's left? Alright, so you've got this. Did this ever get repaired? It did not. Well, maybe we'll have one of these guys come down and do that. Probably Edmund. He got here first. So, Edmund, you need food and you need relaxation. So you're going to do that, then you're going to sit and relax, and then you're going to come down and repair two brick fences. Hopefully that means you're going to bring the bricks with you. 
All right, so Rita is happy as can be, and she could use a sleep. Let's make that happen. Uh, right there. Why don't you sleep for... Um, it's going to happen here before then. Never mind. Draft, undraft, and do what you want to do. All right, you continue that one. That attack's going to start in less than an hour. So what does that mean for us? They run a little bit faster than we do is what that means. So Kana, you're staying down there. And Paulette got her meal. And she could probably use a little rest and relaxation right now. Carter's reading instead of eating. That's probably best. Simon, same. He's got his food. Umar is researching. Um, let's have you sit and relax a little bit longer. Nope, here it begins. Okay, so who can leave immediately? Umayar can. Um, Paulette can. Edmund is still reading. Simon is almost done. Carter, I think you're out of luck. You've only just begun. So you three immediately draft and get down here. Kana, you keep doing what you're doing. Uh, maybe I can get Carter to do that fence repair when he runs down there. Otherwise, pull out of this. They're all starting to get moving. You guys are heading down there. Uh, Simon finished. He can draft and come on down. And Edmund just finished. And he can draft and come on down. Khan is still constructing. Is it everyone? Edmund Paulette, it looks like it is. They've made it to here. So if this structure had been built, they would have made their way through with the idea of having, oh, I don't know, flamethrowers here and turrets here, possibly, with some kind of a structure in here with these guys standing on it, shooting through and around and kind of assisting. Maybe long range taking them out before they even get through here. So if we can be here, we can be hitting them out here with our rifles if our platform is high enough before they even get in. This whole thing loaded with traps and a way to get in and repair these structures and what have you. Hmm. That's kind of what I'm envisioning, whether or not that is the right plan we will see. That's what, no, no, Rita, thank you for <laughs> going to sleep. Uh, draft and come on down. I didn't realize that you weren't part of this crowd. Uh, Rita, you're going to land right there. All right. So who else is doing crazy up here? Um, Rita's actually really close. She <laughs> is. Okay, we may have to, uh, Kana, thank you. So you draft and come on up in here. Carter, can you undraft and repair? Going to sleep. Carter, can you repair? Let's see how quickly we can do that and get right back up on the wall again. So Carter's now going to just kind of crawl. Rita is just about to get overrun. Darn it. Okay, yep. Yeah. I didn't realize she wasn't drafted. All right. Um, how are we going to deal with this? Carter, we're not going to get the repair done. So, Carter, you're going to draft and get up here. You've got the rifle. Edmund, where are you? You are going to turn and shoot. That rock's in your way. You can't do it. You're going to head right here. Paulette, you're going to sit, run over to him right there, and you are hopefully aiming at, it looks like you are. Yeah, you're going to help Rita without even being told to. So Paulette, you just keep going. I need you, you're, you're a slower run. Got him, okay. Rita is in the clear. Edmund, I need you now right up there. Carter? 
you're heading to there. Great, Paulette. You're heading... You're kind of in this area, too. So, Rita, you are going here. No, you're going there. It changes to a different gate. So, I'll, we'll do that instead. So, the Paulette can go here. Okay. It looks like we're going to time this out right. I haven't missed anybody else, right? Okay, so no one else is straggling out there. All right. And we should have enough light out there. Oh, we are going to be close still. Okay. I'm just noticing how quickly they're going to cut off Rita. So who's Simon? You get over to here. And get closer. Close enough to shoot. Carter. Shoot. Who are you? Kana. Yeah, you're right where you need to be. Actually, you are. Right there. Shoot. So, Rita. I need someone to take him out. I need an Edmund. Carter's already... Okay. I need an Edmund. Edmund is still, what, climbing a ladder? Where are you? You are kind of right here. Okay, so Edmund. Right there. Can you do that? In case that was Edmund that took the shot, Carter, can you do that? Okay, they missed Rita. Okay, well, this is going to be close. Who else? Who has not shot? Um, there we are. Edmund is ready to shoot again. You take out this one. Rita? No medical showing up the traps. I forgot about the traps. They held him back, but somebody did get Rita. Rita, injury. You are superficial bite. You're fine. And we're in. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was close. Alright, so it's these big guys right now. So let's get... Let's think about things here. They're all kind of standing on top of each other. And I didn't know they could do that. I thought it would be one person per square. So Carter. Let's see. Rita is heading. Well, she's just heading. Okay. So I guess Rita head to here. And who just shot? Oh, it's counting down. I thought it was... When the bar was full, then they were ready to shoot. Okay, so that is Carter? Who's got the full bar there? I'm going to guess it's Carter. So Carter, you can get over here right now while you're waiting. Edmund's ready to shoot, so I don't want to move him. Okay, I don't know who you shot at, but let's get you, I guess, a little bit more over here. So we can get Simon kind of into there. Yep, it is one person per. Yeah, you don't move. Okay. So, in that case, Rita, no, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Get over here. No, Rita, abandon, abandon. Yeah, you are going to climb down the ladder. Rita, stop. Now, Rita, up. Tell me I can cancel you. Thank you. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Kano's over here. I want you over here. Okay. So where are all the little ones? The little ones are actually a lot slower than the big ones. I didn't realize that. I thought the uh, the big ones would kind of lumber, but they've got some speed to them. The little ones haven't arrived yet. Okay. So you're there. That is Simon. Let's get you... Can you go there? You can. Rita is heading to here. And eventually I think you're heading here. So if I do that now, what does that do for you? Okay, now you're in you're in the battle again. Okay. So if I were to stand here. That's right, Paulette has the stun gun. And I think it would be nice to see two stun guns in the group. 
if we can get these guys all just, you know, in large groups, lethargic and just kind of, you know, dazed, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, and not attacking anything, that just that sounds like the perfect way to do it. All right, so who's alive next to us right now? Just these two big ones. And I'm assuming... Who is that? Simon, you can attack right there. Carter, you've got longer range. I prefer that you worked your way over here. And Edmund as well. You take out, you know, these guys. And who else is here? Umayar? Right there. Was that damage structure three? I'm trying to get where I can get a good view. I don't know how best to record these battles. And they don't seem to ever be shooting where they're actually shooting. They're all shooting over here. <laughs> so I guess looking down their sights is not going to do any good. But we are attacking this wall, aren't we? We are trapped. Yeah, the extra traps did help. Stun gun is knocking them all over over here. And we're done. Wow. Okay. Well, what to do here? We're two in the morning. Got a lot of tired campers here. Yeah. I think this is a cleanup for tomorrow morning. I think I would be wise to let them all go to bed. Is that correct? You're in trouble. Uh, we've got fullness, but everything else is lacking. Uh, Rita's in the best shape of all. She just needs a sleep, but... Hmm. Well, she'll be the first one to come down. Maybe that's the answer there. Yeah, I think I'm going to let everybody get caught up on their rest and bring them right back. Okay, so all of you undraft, and if I wait a second, they should pretty much say everybody sleeping. Going to sleep and awaiting treatment. Okay, let Rita head over there and get in bed. Then I'll have Paulette go and treat her. Okay, so that was successful. We didn't destroy anything. No, just a little bit of damage here and there. Okay, and I'm guessing that none of them made it into any of the floor structures. Right, okay. So we need to... Oh, the new torch is gone. No, that's still five torches. Okay. Let's double click and extinguish. So somebody will come down and do that. Oh, there's leather sitting over here. That's what's over the top of that trap. So Rita is probably limping in. Yeah. Paulette is where? Paulette is in that bed. Oh, she is really running slow. Ah, that's right. Her health, Paulette, lightning injury, still at the 25, 25, 25. Now that happened, I think it was near the beginning of summer. So we haven't gone through, you know, but a quarter of a year. So if she does heal over time, I guess there hasn't been a lot of time yet. Um, Simon is healing Rita. No, Paulette is healing Rita. Interesting how Simon got the command for that. Simon is already done sleeping? No. Simon, get in there and sleep. Simon, he's got a two for heal. But craft is his only one or deliver. Yeah. I think there's plenty of delivery options out there. So why did he fire off healing when it's not a one for him? I don't know. Of all of them, he's the only one that seemed concerned. Paulette shouldn't even need any medicines of any kind. Because she it was just a superficial wound. But it should give Paulette a little boost. 
punching a pole. No, you go to bed. All right. So with that, let's double click all of these guys to butcher, all of you guys to butcher, and did we get anybody long distance? Yeah, you need to butcher. I guess that's it. If I were to do this and that, there's no butcher command, so I guess I've got them all. All right, who's up first? I assume it'll be Edmund. His, actually his stats are not that bad. So yeah, I could have him immediately come down and start uh, uh, butchering. You do all the overgrounds. Okay. And that's stacked? Yeah. So once you do that, and you may only do a few of them and then decide to not do any more. Rita, you were the next one. And... Well, I guess give you something like bush fruits to eat. Who's up? Edmund, okay. And then you can jump down here and butcher that one. And then start working on the regular scarabai. So you, you, and you. And then whoever else gets up and seems functional next can kind of just pick up the scraps. Um, that means we're ready to go and make some trips again. No more attra attacks, theoretically, for another couple of episodes. <laughs> we'll see if it works that way. Um, we can get the other kind of disasters, like the toxic ash or what have you. And the hungry pests that can suddenly show up would count as one of those. So we could still get a big attack without it being aggressive animals attacking us. So it's possible that I'm hearing you. That's who I heard. Or am I hearing you guys? You can make another noise? There. I think you're who I heard. Although... I think you just landed inside the structure, didn't you? Yep, you did. Oh, you landed right there. Ah, huh. um, this might be a good time for Umayar to uh, actually observe those guys, huh? So Carter is butchering what's left. You observe. Umayar is, let's get you a loaf of bread. And then let's get you down here to handle. That'll get you down to this area. We're going to scare this guy off, but there may be another one that lands by then. Are you observed? We're close. We're 84%. Yeah, so we may actually get that accomplished this time if we can find the right one. One that lands a little further away. So Evans butchering. Carter's grabbing something to eat. He shouldn't have made the run down here to begin with. And... Rita's grabbing something to eat, then she'll be coming down. Umar is too. And then he... Well, theoretically, he will be observing this one. But I have a feeling that if he flies away, then he won't come down. Yeah. Though there will be others to choose from, including these guys. So observe you. So, Umar, you are on your way to that torch. And you could be observed as well. So let's try it for that one. And we are right now. Observe this one. See if you can get close enough to do it. Then we'll work on our pterodactyl. Otherwise, Edmund is transporting and he needs a meal, so that's fine. And Rita is... Oh, she finally made it down here. Okay. So Umayar is already researching. Connor Reach Crafting 9. What are you doing? You were transporting. Oh, you just finished that one. 
What is your physical? Not, yeah, nothing. So sending you on an expedition is probably not the answer. Okay. Um, though it'd be nice if you did something like, well, got something to eat. Buttermelon pie, bush fruits, bush fruits. We are out of meals again. All right. So once you're done with that, eat bush fruits, and then once you load all these guys up with scrap metal. Yeah. Limit reached. What? Thought these were. Oh, you didn't get the mirror order. You mirror this one. Okay. So then, Kana. Scrap. Down to 390. Yeah, it is nice to have that emergency supply of scrap. For that spur of the moment, hey, let's go set a bunch of traps. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty handy. So Rita's on her way in. A bone picker. We finally got one. The red-feathered bird is similar to the birds of prey found in most worlds. I named it the bone picker. These birds can smell and see a carcass from big distances and will come in search of easy food. If they're not too lazy, they may even throw rocks at a wounded animal or human to try to finish it off. Oh, I wonder if there's an animation for that. Um, Umar is leaving. I want you to do the other one. Is there a chance one has landed nearby? Or that we could do it mid-flight? I wonder. Can you... No, there's no option to observe him. Okay. Oh, it went away. Now can I? No, no right click. So if I keep you down here to handle torches, maybe one will land. And we just rotted away some more hides somewhere. Okay. So it's possible one will still come in. You are red feathered birds coming in. Okay, he's going further. You are a bone picker. Where's the big one? And yeah, we'll see if he lands again. Handling torches. I'm trying to keep him out here. And handle two more torches. There he is. Where's where is he at? Right there. Come on in and land. He's circling. He just might. No, nah, he's gone. Okay. Um, actually, we do need these done. Yeah, go observe them. We'll call them flatheads. Well, let's see what they're actually called. And you are over here... Now you're not eating, you're just wanting to really badly. Carter's back because he's got hunting checked and he'll be uh, automatically doing it. Rita, can you jump over here instead and butcher these and chase him away? Oh, never mind. We'll sacrifice that one. Umar, can you observe the flying reptile? Where are you right now? You ran over here. Good. So, if we can keep everybody from scaring him away, we just might. Is that the same? No. So, the same noise comes from all of them, apparently. Ah, ah. Okay, Rita and Carter. You guys kind of stay to this side for a while. And Rita, why don't you work on these guys? Let's see how fast... No, 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 no. You're leaving now. How are you doing otherwise? Can I keep you down here for a while? Yeah, you're up there for happiness. So let's get you now to work on these. And Rita, you can next head over here. Work on those. And Edmund... 
Relaxation, happiness. Let's get you out of here. Let's go get some CPUs. Expedition. You, Edmund. I'd send someone like Rita. Might get another species observed. Speaking of species... There is a major game update coming out in three or four days. And it has to do with another scenario for the game that allows you to intentionally go to one of these abandoned planets and set up a trade center and create you know, farm resources to trade and, and build trade goods to or create trade goods to sell. And they're introducing several new plants that w will land into this scenario, too. So there will be more things for Rita to uh, observe on her trips out. But she has a lower physical skill. And I don't know if the number of CPUs you get out of this one has to do with your carry capacity. It, it wouldn't seem like it, but... I think I'm going to not take the chance. So, send an expedition. And he is on his way already. Great. Didn't have to tell him. So, furnaces are being lit. We're getting more alloy into the system. And Rita is now picking up. Carter is butchering. And Carter's going to go up and do whatever. And he'll come back and automatically butcher these last ones. Discovered a Draka. Oh, that's what you are. Draka, usually passive, high chance to retaliate when attacked. Okay. Do I get any more description than that? Oh, I guess I was supposed to click on it. If I go here. Alright. To my surprise, it seems to be a peaceful herbivore. The elevated position of its eyes allow it to keep watch for predators in danger while feeding. If cornered, it can defend itself with its long, strong forelegs whose claw-like endings seem quite intimidating. Okay, so that's a Draka. And Umayar is over here right now. Okay, and did we get one more of the reptile coming down did not so i'm gonna leave him alone to go do what he needs to do which apparently is researching um sure okay so rita's bringing hers in carter oh and he's right here and he's landing where observe let's try it is he taking off or is he landing he is cannot reach reptile okay Edmund's taken off. Rita's transporting. Kana is transporting bricks. I guess she got the repair command. Um, I'd much rather she just continued doing what I had asked her to do. Yeah, let's have you just go straight back into this. Do that one. Do that one. Do that one. Carter, I guess I need to give you the command. Your relaxation is tanked. Can you repair... Brick fences. Just so the Kana won't keep getting the command to do that. And any others? They're all in queue. So we only have the three. Let's do this way. Uh, fences. Brick fences. Repair. So, Carter, when you're done with all that, then repair the three more. And repair the one. I think there's enough brick already down here. So that should keep Kana from having to make the trip down. And ignore my orders again. Get rid of you guys. And we'll get rid of you. We'll get a fresh list here soon. Dropping them all off. Okay. Tap, tap. It's done. Okay. We've got bricks over here. You get all that taken care of. Uh, Simon, what are you doing right now? You are getting... You're going to go make another spear, but I'd love to get... Use your run speed to haul in the last of this. So haul, and that's 240 per. So 80... That's real close. That might be the last trip. If not, it'll be within 20 or so. Hmm... 
There he is again. And I guess I'm just going to have to leave him this time. Yeah. As soon as Carter moves, he's going to scare him away. Okay. I said hunt. I wonder if you can observe them afterward. Rita is harvesting. Okay, good. And... Yeah, that didn't quite sync up yet. That's a shame. I did get it right, right? Extend field. So three, three, three. It is there. A shooting star. So it's lined up properly. It just needs to be planted right here, here, and here. A shooting star, a meteor with a long tail blazed in the sky and fell not too far from the camp. It could be a small piece of debris or a genuine meteorite. Now I'm curious what... Not uh, too far. Not too far from the camp means. Shooting star is five. Oh, for five days, it's five hours. Okay. Okay. So it, most of the other ones are ten, eleven hours away. So that's actually not bad. Um. Next episode. Don't worry about it right now. Uh, and it most likely will just be an ore thing, which means it needs to be Edmund that gets sent. Or Carter. For that matter, it could be. But he's been busy all day, so he does need to get a good night's sleep and a meal and and uh, a break. So you are transporting the last of the meats. You need to get somebody like Kana down here to reset all the traps. Supercomputer debris. All right, I managed to pull off some CPU cores without damaging them. Okay, good job. So he'll be back before the episode's over. Theoretically. Hopefully the game doesn't make him sleep first or something like that. So you are collecting. That is the last of it. We got the bug over here. And you showed up. There's no meat left. You might not hang around for long. Dare I get... Umair down here one more time. What are you doing? You are researching. Let's try it. Observe. There's nobody here to scare you now. So how long will you just hang around? You might hang for a while. We'll see. If nothing else, maybe we'll get halfway done so that next time we'll... Uh... Nope. You're gone. Okay. It's an... That's not going to happen. So... Umar says, I need a drink. <laughs> All right, so th this got moved. You extend one more space over. Like that. Okay. More blueberries there. And maybe more blueberries back in this area. So we don't have to... I hear music. Don't have to travel so far to get them. Although, they do harvest several times. So maybe what we have is enough for what we need. What do we have in inventory for berries now? Uh, looks like 340 and 260. And they only use like 10 at a time. So actually, it does last for quite a while. Temperatures in our freezer right now. Indoors, 52 degrees. How is that possible? We got... We got two of these. Outdoors is 47. It's warmer inside than outside. What am I missing here? How is that possible? You copy. It indicates heat going out when it's in this direction. And in that direction. Okay. So if that means anything and not just some random graphic, then we are sending the heat out. How can it be 50 to 52 degrees? And Oh, because the target temperature didn't get reset for the new one. Arr. I copied from here to here. You'd think it would, it would keep both. Okay. So, let's make your target temperature, I guess, 14 is as low as we go. It is. Okay. And you, target temperature of 14. 
All right, that's what it is. So, Carter, when you're done, yeah, you are going to handle air conditioner. So, we built that first thing in yesterday morning for two days. It's been making heat instead of making cold. Arr. Okay. So, you're going to go read. And, yep, that's what you need. Temperature in here... 48. We should be dropping pretty quickly with two of them doing the job. 47, 46. Okay, 45. So we're going to get down to stinking cold so that when we do get heat waves, we're going to have some thermal mass built up. Rita is harvesting. We were 60 short of clearing that out last time. Okay. So when Rita's done, she will most likely pick it all up. Yeah, I think she'll have enough capacity. So this has, in fact, been changed to giant grass. Okay. So no point in planting that smaller amount again. And Edmund has not made it back yet. That was 19. That should be any moment now. Otherwise, Rita's the only one still out there. Need to get Kana tomorrow to reset traps. And Edmund is back. And he vomits out four CPU cores. Great. Haul these in, please. Okay. And either the planet's stomach is, is uh, gurgling and making noises, or we have a thunderstorm about to happen. That was... Unpowered devices. Okay, someone didn't put gas in the tank. <laughs> if that is a thunderstorm, how cold did we get in here? We got down to 14. Let's leave them unpowered. The thunderstorm will, will fire up the battery, and we'll get free power for a while. Then we'll put fuel in, and there's enough cold in here to last for quite a while. Okay, so we'll let that happen. Rita's getting something to eat instead of bringing these in. Darn. Okay. Is that the one that's been here for a long time? 84%. Yep. Whereas this one, well, it's 88%. These should be 100. Hmm. Okay. So, Simon, when you wake up in the morning, let's have you first thing just run out and, and haul grain. We'll see how much of that you can find in one trip. Otherwise, are we about done here? Who is that? Kana. Claim be better at darts than Carter. Getting meals. Thunderstorm starting up. And it's probably a good place to stop it so we can watch this battery fill up from scratch. And this battery needs electronics. We have all the metal alloys we need. We just need the electronics. Okay. In other words, we've got 20 metal alloy banked sitting right there. Yeah. Probably good. Though I could use those to make the electronics to begin with. Ah, uh, it takes 10. I'll have to think about that. Unfortunately, I can't make it spit it out. I don't think I could get Kana to take supplies now nothing like that okay well with that i'm gonna pause and i think this is a good place to stop we'll start with our exciting thunderstorm and watch it hit all the lightning rods in the area next time so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you there bye, -bye.